Hi, my name's Billy Crellin. I'm a Melbourne-based glass practitioner. I really enjoy being a glass blower simply because of the creative process behind uh, the material. I like seeing a, an object um, grow from its conception as a drawing through to um, a stage of tooling production and then the realisation of the vessel blown in glass and finally its, its functional finish, finished use, the end user um, and how the product sits in its environment. As a glass blower we work with uh, the molten form of the material which everyone is familiar with. Um, that the process involves um, using specialised tools. Um, our main tool would be a six foot metal blow pipe and we use that to gather the material mass from a, another specialised instrument called a furnace um, which holds the glass at 1200 degrees Celsius whilst we're working. Um, from that point forward after we gather the material it's a process of constantly reheating and um, tooling in order to achieve the shape that we desire. Yeah, so whilst we're working with the glass, it's constantly subjected to um, forces of gravity and centrifugal force. Um, so if we, if we stop turning entirely, um, it's likely to fall on the ground in a puddle. Um, but on the other hand, if we turn too fast, um, the centrifugal force will splay the shape open. The glass that I gather from the furnace is in fact clear. Um, we work with colour in very much a similar way that a painter would order paints from a studio that produces them or a factory. Um, so we order the raw colour in um, and that is then combined with the clear glass that we hold in our furnace. Um, the way it operates is very much um, down to the optic properties of the glass. It, 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 is, it is only a thin, thin layer of the colour, a veneer on the inside or the outside, and that gives the illusion that the whole piece is in fact coloured. So a nice pink glass is, is in fact a combination of the raw colour we've, we've purchased from the supplier and it's added to our clear glass in the furnace um, but once inflated and blown up it gives the impression that the entire vessel is, is pink in fact. A, um, a question often asked is um, how long objects take to make and that can really range depending on the arrangement of the colour but typically we look to make a cup in around 15 to 20 minutes, um, which is drastically different to what you might find machines making them uh, at. Um, but there is a slowness to the handmade process and, and then that, that's able to unveil um, the intricacies of handmade techniques as well, as like um, colors and patterns. I guess the path to, to becoming a glassmaker is very much um, like an apprenticeship. It, it, it is a trade and um, it takes, I guess, many years of applying a certain set of techniques and skills. I was introduced to glass in the university environment and that's very typical for a lot of uh, other glass blowers in Australia. So you can see a lot of glass blowing online. There's a great um, swathe of resources on YouTube and most likely Instagram and other social medias. You can, you can also easily access it. Yeah, it's a great phenomenon to see. Yeah, I hope that my explanation will help whilst you're watching the video.